After ignoring it for weeks, it sure feels like politicians are making the most of this East Palestine train derailment. Disaster is just another word for opportunity, and you should never let a good disaster go to waste. Trump shows up there the other day, another fucking disaster for East Palestinians to live through. Sorry, East Palestinians. And he's the big hero. He's going to save the day. And pin all the blame on President Biden and Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. It's their fault, not my fault. And then, of course, Pete Buttigieg shows up and essentially does the same thing. Not our fault, it's their fault. And of course, they're both fucking hypocrites. They're all full of shit. But it is kind of hilarious watching Trump and Republicans act like they care about safety regulations and holding corporations responsible when... Cutting safety regulations and catering to big corporations is kind of Republicans' whole thing. Always has been. But Democrats make it so hard for themselves and us. Because if you actually cared about what you say you care about, the environment, workers, you could actually be the heroes. You could actually help. But instead, you do things like bust union strikes when they're just looking for safer working conditions. So... Sorry, East Palestinians, you're not getting any help. They're just there for more footage for their political campaign ads. But you know, I hear the West Bank of Palestine is really nice. You should try living there.